Hi, hello, and welcome to Remothered Tormented Fathers, a horror game that came out in 2018 that kind of seemed interesting enough for me to try. I, I stumbled across this one and hadn't ever heard of it, and I was surprised to find a horror game from 2018 that I hadn't heard of, because I usually per that was around the time I was really really active in that community. I haven't really been so much anymore, or as recently anyways. Um, I'm getting off topic. Um, oh, I like whoever this woman is, am imaginary. I guess I'll learn her name eventually. I imagine she's the main character based off of some of the con uh, or some of the art that I've seen. Um, I'm all it also is not lost on me that the T in Remothered is a cross. And this is a, a crown of thorns, so there's going to be a lot of, looks like, Christianic influence in this game. And remothered, tormented fathers. It's a lot of parental language. Uh, I's inventory, P is what? Pause. So P is kind of, I'm not going to use P much. I think I said that with Resident Evil, and I've kind of so, used it a lot to pause. Is it all true? What have you heard already? That illness. It thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Uh, I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or... Really describe who we are? I swear, I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madam Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe the all this began. So is this whole game a recounting of events? Say goodbye Party force from my head If you lift me Sure you miss me If you fly That's not something you see in video games very often. Listen to me, aromas live 
Looks like I'm going to have to quickly learn Italian. Like strictly in the logo, we got the cross, the head, the crown of thorns, and a cicada. Wasn't Feels the main like character? It's gonna rain again. Wasn't there also a character that was voiced by Chris Darrell? Like he did a lot, huh? Oh damn! I will not be using that sprint animation unless I'm running away from. Holy shit! Look at that. What is that run animation? That's like fucking comedic. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go to that building, but part of me. I'm gonna joyfully run, goofily. What's this? Maybe. Okay, I thought I was going the wrong way, but. Mary. I always feel anxious when looking at some icons. Icons, mirrors. Looks like the Virgin Mary holding baby Jesus, but the Virgin Mary's wearing a crown of thorns there. Dr. Richard Felton and Associates. Who is it? Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? So right away, things were really beautiful as far as that first introduction. And then as I get into the game, the character model is all right. I mean, everything, she looks fine. Not, not like fantastic or anything like that. But the animation for her running is laughable. Also, there's no restrictions on what paths I can take, aside from the idea that some paths are just going to be a waste of time. I wonder what the point of all this plant life is for. Gate was open. Are you there? Hello? Is anyone there? <sighs> it's locked. But I gotta do this really long walking animation uh, because, well, sprinting isn't really an option. 
I gotta do something real quick. Alright. I just wanted to make sure that if I ever hit control, you're not gonna hear two of my voice. Because I have my control keyed for the mic on OBS for when I stream uh, Final Fantasy. And I hadn't really thought about the fact that if I had control, I don't I don't use OBS's mic system when I play other games, when I'm not streaming essentially. I really want to sprint because this is gonna take forever, but I don't want to sprint. Because, okay, knowing this is a horror game, I'm getting a lot of anxiety just from this, like, long tunnel system thing here. But I also don't want to sprint because the sprint animation is so wonky and looks better for, like, a person running away from something. Oh, wow, that ladder's there. Definitely anguishing. What? Looks like a little girl, like, getting ready to play hide and seek. What do you mean, anguishing? This looks more like a front entrance than the other way I came in. Oh my god, those animations weren't perfect. This is an indie game, so I just, I'm not going to be too judgmental on all that. Good evening, I Miss am Reed. You already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the center of the institute. I came here voluntarily, outside the institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents. I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's pathology. Oh, no, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Fountain hates the smell of smoke. And you should have said something when I was outside. Please put that cigarette out before you come in. Alright, got an achievement, the arrival. Please, this way. The walk is even more excruciatingly slow indoors. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day, I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? 
I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. This way, please. Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. Why did it slide me? The coronation of a virgin. The young girl gazes into the sky above with stunned eyes and a light hits her. Ugh. And a light hits her. But something is out of place. From the dark sky that threatens storms or from the dark sky that threatens storm are descending the hideous hands of strange creatures. Stranger creatures. This picture makes you feel uncomfortable. Oh, there are hands. I see those right away. Oh, that's a very subtle, horrifying image. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm, Rosso Gallo, closes. Danger of contamination. Wyman and the Feltons indicated and indi indicted indi indi indicted for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October second, nineteen seventy one, the Rosso Gallo farm, Pride of the Gallows, closed due to suspected contamination. It has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe parasitosis. The owner, Ariana Gallo, top right, her husband, the notar not notari notary Richard Felton, bottom right, professor and company's partner, Albert Elias Wyman, large picture, are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from the residents at the company's headquarters, the Ashmans, who managed the building and supervised the harvesters, the sisters of the adjoining covenant. Among the reported symptoms... Painful ulcers, vomiting, prolif proliferation of parasites, and, in some cases, keratosis photosen photosensitivity. Following the heavy allegations, both the Feltons and the Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. Wyman stated he was shocked by the cha charges and pointed his finger to his former business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It is worth noting that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenox Phenoxyl Project, a drug from which, uh, from which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious Medicine Award in 1957 but that was retired from the market a few years later due to the disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at Felton's house, which was used as location for produ 
product distribution, the activity ceases. As a result of the scandal, the Ashmans and the Feltons also broke off any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed a substantial refund for the damage they suffered because even their children have been infected and, as a consequence, used as unaware test subjects. The authorities assume that the contamination has developed from the groundwater, but not, but not only used for the irrigation of nearby plantations, but also as a common source for the Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. Something on the other side. You damned bitch! See what they write about me on the news? You wanted to tarnish me and I'll get you, and I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will. Starting with your daughter. Do you believe me? Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure she would be glad to know that she is his daughter. Show you, show you've got balls. Take your own responsibilities. What am I gonna, what am I saying? Balls? You never got balls. <coughs> uh. believe in God, miss? What a weird question to answer coming in. It would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter. That's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equal that it's tall. to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria. Yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No. Thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates? Anoxone? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs Without any prescription. Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gallo. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with- Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No. My Mr. daughter. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? I just told you. How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate- I don't have the strength for this now! 
I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question! The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did what you is come going to on? my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. She's a journalist. You know the way. How do you even... How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Achievement disappearance. Take the heels off if you're going to sneak. Look for the mirrors with the metronome. From now on, you can save your game only by using those. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more. I'm intrigued by the game's story, but I'm not sure. Like, the animation's a little clunky at times, but I can kind of see that. Anyways, have a good night.